Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Adam Snyder here, the Homemade Entrepreneur. Uh, today, I kind of just want to talk to you about selling books on Amazon. Um, you know, what do you look for? Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions about, you know, books. You know, what kind of books should they buy? You know, should they buy new books? Should they buy used books? Well, honestly, most of the books that you will find, whether it's at a thrift store, at a yard sale, anything like that, um, or a book sale, chances are they will be used books. Some of them will be in great shape, pretty much mint condition. Those I would sell as new books. Now, even when you buy a new book at Target, Walmart, wherever it may be, chances are, depending on how they stack them, um, whether they stack them you know, side by side or they turn them and actually put one in front of the other, uh, depending on how you stack them, uh, they could rub and that will cause a little bit of wear, um, you'll get some markings on them. Those are still new books. Uh, unless they're actually in you know, shrink wrap, they, that's the only way to really protect them. So that's why I recommend anyone shrink wrap books. I'll put a, a link below uh, to another one of my videos on shrink wrapping books and some of the stuff that I use. But anyway, uh, I, I've had, I've had uh, I think three or four different clients they all want to start with books. I highly recommend books because they're everywhere. You can pay as little as you know a penny a book. I've I've went to sales that I paid um, for uh, ten cents. You get five books. Um, that was great. I know it's not a penny, but ten cents you get five books. Now once you start buying enough and you have quantity, then you can talk them into okay. You know I have hundred books here. I'll give you a dollar. A lot of them love it. They'll take the, they'll take your dollar, whatever it is, and they'll give you those hundred books because they just want to get rid of them. You know things like that. Now the books I always look for. I always look for textbooks. Textbooks are great. Um, a lot of times I don't even scan a textbook. Um, sometimes they'll have, if it comes from a, a college or whatever it may be, they'll have the college's uh, barcode over the the actual barcode, so you can't really scan it. Now you could take the time, punch it in. Uh, you know, figure it all out by just putting in the title of the book, the edition, stuff like that. But that takes more time. So a lot of times, if it's something that I'm paying less than a quarter or a quarter for a book, I'll just throw it in the throw it in my basket or cart, uh, depending on obviously where you go. But just throw it in there and I'll buy it. You know, if it doesn't sell, it costs me a quarter. Okay, I lose a little bit, but chances are I'm gonna make more money off my other books. Now, so textbooks are great. Any type of self-help book self-help book um, such as uh, personal finance, uh, health, uh, marriage and family those are huge. Um, I recently bought a book for a dollar at a yard sale it was um, uh, it was on uh, uh, relationships and stuff like that and uh, sent it in sold within I think a week maybe a little more than a week uh, eight nine days something like that uh, definitely less than two weeks that sold for one hundred and sixty-five dollars, or one hundred sixty-four ninety-nine, um, is what it sold for. So I made a decent profit off that book. Now those do not come uh, every day. You don't see a book like that every day, but you will see books that you can buy for a dollar or sometimes two dollars, and you can sell it for you know fifteen ninety-nine, nineteen ninety-nine, and you'll make you know five ten dollars off these books. You know, after all your fees, all that stuff. You can easily make five dollars off every single book, and you can find hundreds of them per day. Now, uh, I am always on the lookout for books. Uh, books are a great thing. Um, now, when I sell a book, I will not buy a book that has a ranking over one million. That's just a rule I have. I don't buy books over one million. Uh, I buy books um, anything under five hundred thousand. I will buy it. Okay, books under five hundred thousand probably will sit there for. Uh, if, if it's at 500,000, we'll probably sit there for about three weeks and then it'll sell. Obviously, you have to be the lowest. You have to be the lowest price. If you want to sell that book, you either need the buy box or the lowest price. Um, usually, the lowest price is the easiest thing to get when you have so many different books and you never have a certain quantity of. It. You never have five or ten of the same book. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, anything under 300,000 uh, will probably sell within about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, I've had a book, the best book I've ever uh, purchased uh, was, uh, was it, I think it was a little bit under a thousand in books. Um, sold, 
I believe within five or ten minutes of of it checking in to uh, to the Amazon warehouse. So that was a that was a great deal. Um, but obviously you don't find books like that all the time. So anyway, books, buy books. Uh, go to any retail store, scan some books. I've gone to the dollar store, scan books before. Uh, they have books with that pretty much came from Walmart or Target with the Walmart sticker still on the cover of the book. You know, for nineteen ninety nine, it's still on the book, nineteen ninety nine, you know, and they're selling it for a dollar. You go scan it, you can probably make two or three dollars off this book. Um, it might sit there for a little bit. There's a lot of people out there buying stuff from the dollar store and trying to send it into Amazon and make some money off it, which is great. Um, I highly recommend it if you don't have a big budget to work with. Um, you know, go to the dollar store, see what they find. Take some, you know, kitchen items, you know, make a little bundle out of it, send them in, and I guarantee you're going to make some money. But uh, to start out with, I'd highly recommend selling books. You know, anything under 500000 buy anything under 300000 definitely buy anything under 100000 You know, you need to put in your cart. There's just, there's just no way around it. Anything under 100000 books, it's going to sell quickly. Um, you're going to make some money as long as uh, the price is right. So... Um, if you have any questions on selling books on Amazon, please comment below. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click that button right there. Become one today, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, you guys, take care.